Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to K-Wings Let's Plays and more of, well, this game. Uh, I was trying to look up how to finish um, some of these Spider-Man things, but guess what? What the internet has uh, when they list how to um, how to complete the Spider-Man objectives. They just tell you how to download the character. So there is no comprehensive guide uh, showing you how to finish all these Spider-Man objectives, which is beyond lame. So we're still stuck in step 11 trying to do the weird teleporter enemies, which I have no idea what that is. And um, hopefully you guys can work us through that. I also made the Miles Morales um, thumbnail for tomorrow's Christmas uh, themed uh, stream series of Spider-Man Miles Morales one year later playing on the PS5. Uh, and that'll be a live stream series because it takes place at Christmas. Unlike Arkham Origins, which the entire game takes place at Christmas Eve, the Miles Morales game takes place December 23rd through December, or I think like New Year's Eve. So, I mean, it, it kind of goes all over the place. But I'm going to need your guys' help to uh, complete the um, objectives because there's no way I'm going to be able to do this because, for one, it's way too confusing. And uh, there is no written guide about it online. It just, all these places just tell you how to unlock Spider-Man, which is not helpful. So, yeah, good, good times. Good times. Spidey objectives are stupid. Yeah, there we go. Are dumb. That's the time code. Oh, okay. So last time you told me that it would be a good idea for us to go and do the harm challenges, but that didn't unlock anything. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, at a loss. So if anybody knows how to do this, by all means, please chime in. Uh, because I I really would like to get the iconic suit and be done with this game and erase it from my uh, system. That that would be fantastic. Because this game takes up a lot of space, and uh, I kind of want to be done with it. So, yay! It's just me, though. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. So, yeah. If anybody knows how to do this, please let me know. That would be fantastic. Um, I thought you were doing the Harm Challenge 3. No. Harm Challenge 3 didn't do anything. Maybe you could look up teleporter thugs, Amber. I don't know. There's no objectives. There's there's no no information though. So good luck. I couldn't find anything, and I looked for 15, 20 minutes. That's why I was late on the stream. Because I couldn't find anything. Hi there, fool. We. Boom! Spider Man. You know, it's it's fitting to, to play as Spidey because um, the the whole red, red with with Christmassy things. He needs he needs a Christmas spider suit. It needs to be red and green. So, in place of his blue Spider-Man thing, just give him green suit, green stuff, and there you go. Christmas Spider-Man. I don't know what I'm doing, but that's okay, I guess. I don't know. Spider-Man objectives. I don't know. Well, I mean, I could tell you the name of this step. So there's 18 steps. We're on step 11. I thought we were on step 12. We're on the web closes step. Whee! And it's the same thing over and over. And over and over again. Whee! What? Geriatric Spider-Man coming through. Never mind. Cool, I flipped. Parkour. What?
No, honey, that's that's out of your that's way out of your way. Nope. Mm -mm. It's, Massachusetts is nowhere near Illinois. And also, you have to have a negative test before you can go, and all kinds of stuff. And you have to prove it this time, so... Yep. We have a test on the 27th. I don't know. Can... Just... I mean, there's probably no way to find out what this teleport enemies are, so... I need to get my... I have my... My phone charger is upstairs. I'm on a website right now. Find out what... What those are. <sighs> Web up... I can't read that. Well... Teleporter enemies. Okay. Come on, what was my favorite Spider-Man movie? Spider-Man 2. My favorite Spider-Man movie, and then Into the Spider-Verse, uh, Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man No Way Home, and maybe the first Amazing Spider-Man, or maybe Spider-Man Homecoming. It's... Uh, yeah. I don't know. Like, the animated Into the Spider-Verse movie was really good. So that to me, you know, if we were just going by live action movies, I only have a top four, maybe. Mm. So live action would go Spider-Man 2. It would go um, probably No Way Home or maybe Spider-Man 1, then No Way Home, and uh, maybe Amazing. But I, I don't know. I, I wasn't a huge fan of Amazing Spider-Man, so... Any idea what the teleporter enemies are, or no? Mm, I'm on a website. What is this? You talked to Liz Allen, right? Got to talk to her only once so far. Okay. We're on step 11 of the... At the Ant Hill Outpost? Yep. Then it says, then you do matters of life and death, defeat 15 enemies with Spider-Man's wreckage skill. Oh, it does? Okay, yeah, keep going. Yeah, go find step 11. I almost feel bad for these guys. Um, what's step 11? There are 18 steps in order to finish Spider-Man's oh. story with Liz Allen. Right. We're on step 11. Now, defeat 15 enemies with Spider-Man's wreckage skill. Yeah, that's step one. Okay, danger zone. This step has two subjectives. Uh, Actually, oh. Web 15 enemies using Spider-Man's web bomb. Defeat 20 enemies using Spider-Man's wrecking ball. They don't actually tell you how to do it, though, do they? They just tell you what Bury you're doing. Bury the leads. Talk to Liz Allen again. Web closes is what... Look for something that says web closes. What? Have you done those things? Yes. Web bomb. Yes. Yes, I have, honey, Did because I'm, I'm on... Did you talk to Liz Allen yes. again? Yes. I'm on step 11. Step it 11. doesn't have numbers on this. Right. So you're looking for something Threats. that called the web closes. See what Big Apple Battleground throw webbed enemies using web whirlwind or web slam fifteen times? Nope. Did you already do that or no? Nope, we're on the web closes. That's the name of, of the current objective Answer that I'm on. Answer Mark Raxton's video call in Ant Man. Nope. Ant Hill Outpost threats menaces perform forty sprint or evade attacks against enemies. Kill a Spider Man open ten strong boxes. Talk to Liz Allen again. Nope. You skipped ahead. No, no I didn't. I, I never got to do any of those. I'm on step 11. The web closes. I need to do something with teleport enemies. Hey, Garrett, do you know how to finish this one? Because I don't want to be stuck doing this for two hours with no progress. Like, I really personally believe these Spider-Man objectives are really stupid. Waste of time. Like, yesterday we were on the web closes for like an hour and a half and we never completed it. I don't think we're any closer to completing it now either. Let me see. Nope. No change. No change for whatever those teleport enemies are. The web closes Avengers Initiative. Um, 
mission feature has to be Spider-Man. Defeat uh, enemies with airborne attacks, which was 20. We did that, but we are still nowhere close to finishing the teleporter enemies. This is really stupid. Like, there's no reason that they needed to make these objectives this long. It's just really lazy. Are supposed to do a web slam or web whirlwind? Nope. There's no web whirlwind. I have to defeat teleporter enemies, and I have no idea what the heck a teleporter enemy is. Oh, Garrett only has Avengers on Xbox, so Garrett can't help. And boom. I mean, is this be a different button? No, it's not a button configuration. You need to know what teleport enemies are, and you need to know how to beat them. You can just do harm room number five on challenge four, and the adoptable show up in a few rounds, actually. I have no idea what that is. I'm in the harm room, but I don't have uh, harm room number four open. I have harm room one through three open. You're on number 11? Step 11. <clears throat> Challenge 11, Gathering of Evil? No. No. It's called The Web Closes. They obviously don't have it on that site, honey. I'm not on that site. Ah. Uh. Yeah, Avengers Spider-Man is only on the uh, PlayStation systems, PS5 and PS4. Boom, boom. Uncle Ben is helping with web slinging. <laughs> Maybe. Helping from beyond the grave. If you're watching someone stream it, how can you tell what level they're on? Ah. Uh. How can I tell by looking at their screen what level they're on? I don't I don't know, it would say the web closes. It's the it's the name of the objective. Like I said, I didn't have any luck. So. Maybe you have to upgrade your suit to get a certain thing to do a web close. No. Web close is just the name of the chapter for the objective to complete the step. See look, right at the beginning of the objectives it says at the very top. Mm -hmm. See where it says right there, step 11, and then underneath, the web closes. There are 18 steps in order to unlock the iconic suit and finish lame Liz Allen's missions. 18 steps. Yep, that's what I was saying. It's, it's annoying. Hi, Zelda. What you doing, furball? It's tedious, it's boring, and it's annoying. Mm -hmm. Uncle ba and Ben from the grave is helping. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna have to get my... <clears throat> Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure nothing happened from that harm room. Let's see. Oh, something did happen. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm just going to do that again. I have no idea how it happened, but we went up two. It said we were at three of five. I have no idea what happened. I don't care. Play that level again, and then hopefully that'll finish. So let's do it again. Select mission... Challenge number one for harm room and uh, see if it finishes. I don't know how it happened. I, maybe those big machines is what it was. I don't know. Um, but we don't have harm room five open. That's harm room four. So let's do number one again because it seems to be working. I don't know. Don't know what to tell you. Don't know, don't know, don't care. Garrett says, I hope they don't add more characters to this game. Uh, they probably will, Garrett. I don't know. Alright, Webhead. It's time for you to be Mr. Amazing Noir Spidey. I'm trying to find videos online. I found that Spider-Man won't have any story. Yeah, I see this guy who's screaming. Yeah, that's a funny picture, actually. 
I mean, technically, they didn't lie. This is the story, but you have to jump through all these hoops to get any type of narrative from Liz Allen. It's kind of stupid. Mm -hmm. I don't get why only do you live stream now because nobody watches uploads. <coughs> Why do we only live stream now? We. Uh, I mean, we do post. I don't post... know who's in... who is asking the question. A member or uh, subscriber? No, uh, somebody off the internet. Have you watched our channel for a long time, or? Probably. Okay. Why we do we still only... we still post noon videos? Number one, we don't only do live streams. We post a lot of noon videos. However, the fact that you're asking the question. Why do you only stream shows that <clears throat> you don't see the noon videos we're posting, which is exactly why mm. we yep. have to live stream. Yep. Because nobody can see our videos. Bingo. <clears throat> only point live streaming like one percent of our audience is informed of our videos. Half of one percent. Half of one percent. So half of one if you would 1 like to of see our people. videos, please. Watch them. Like we have said, number one, watch them. Number two, share them with your friends. Yep. <clears throat> Number three, um, join our newsletter so you can actually see when they post. Yep. YouTube will only inform 0.1% of our audience of any of our videos. So Half of 1%. So, um, yeah, so Which half of 1%. So please, like, if you were, if you went to a job and you worked at Arby's and they gave you $7 an hour, but they told you you're only getting half of 1% of what they said they were giving you, can you imagine how much money you would actually be getting? Compared to how much money you were told originally you would get. So, $7 an hour, that's like... That's like half of one... That's like half of... You're getting less than three cents an hour. When you were told you'd give me $7 an hour. So that's kind of where we're working with uh, YouTube right now. Is they said we were getting seven dollars an hour, and now we're getting three cents an hour. Woo! So that's how badly YouTube has fallen. So, um, something like that. So I mean, it, basically, to to sum up, without like you know alienating people, like we do uploads. Uh, they're usually at noon. Um, YouTube isn't going to notify you. You can join our newsletter, KWingsLetsPlays.com. Uh, it takes five seconds to go to our website. Sign up with your email, and every day at 10 a.m., um, like around 2 in the morning every night, I write the newsletter myself, and then uh, it gets automatically distributed to the people who've signed up for it. You find out all the stuff that happens on the channel every day. We live stream primarily because you get super chats, memberships. You also get um, seen in the search engine. Whereas uploads, every upload you do that underperforms, YouTube penalizes your next upload. So it's almost like there's no point to doing uploads whatsoever. And a majority of YouTubers do live stream now because uploads are archaic. They're a thing of the past. They don't work. And very few people do uploads on YouTube still. They mostly either live stream or they do YouTube shorts or they do YouTube stories. You know, YouTube is changing as a company and uh, live streaming is the future. So, I mean, we've gotten used to streaming for two and a half years now. Uh, we go live from five in the afternoon until about a little over one in the morning every night. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Luke. <clears throat> Listen to this. Um, here's a person. Uh, really interesting comment. But I don't even know how to answer your comment. Sensational gaming. I'll read you the whole comment. Oh my gosh. What do you think of YouTube algorithm? Because I see you used to get millions of views. And that's what is happening to a lot of people now. I mean, I we think uh, of it? I, oh, it I, told, I told people the writing on the wall years ago. That one, you would need to... Buckle down and find some way of contacting your community because YouTube was going to be taking that away from people because they're pushing Hollywood people like Jimmy Fallon and Jack Black and Brie Larson and putting all these people at the top of the search over actual, you know, content creators. Uh, every year and every yeah. six months, they ch actually no, every three and a half months, they change the algorithm. Um, they also aren't doing anything to help YouTubers who get their channel hacked. We, last year, we were averaging about like 3 million views monthly, and then we got hacked by accident by a Bitcoin scammer. 
And uh, YouTube wrecked our channel. They ripped us out of the search engine. We were living off um, what's known as legacy viewed videos. And, and we, all our videos, uh, just like imagine 8,000 videos that you worked very hard on for the past decade being Thanos snapped. And then when they were returned to the search engine after the blip, they're dead. Like they don't do anything. Yeah, so, so I mean, that's why we live stream. <laughs> <clears throat> the fact that the question is, what do we think of it? It's, it's like, terrible. It's horrible. You t I mean, they're purposely. I won't. I don't. I think that they think that they're helping their own platform by nah. pushing celebrities over the people that built their platform. But no. Basically, like I noticed, there was a person that had. Win they're basically mixing everything up because there was a person that we met. <gasps> A few years ago, that had fifty thousand subscribers. Mm -hmm. This person, I was just noticing, they're doing. They're a nice person. Yeah. Um, I won't. I'll tell you who it is later. But That's they're fine. doing Spider-Man videos. They're getting four million views right now. We met them, and they were smaller than us. Oh wow. Um, I'll tell you who they are later. But okay. It's just interesting that, you know, I think they're, they may be botted. I don't know. But I'd have I'd have to see their paycheck and then I could tell you. But what I'm saying is like it's just like I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying like it's all upside down. Like the whole Whoa, Wally West upgraded again. Thank you, Wally! Oh, thank you so much, Wally West! See Wally right there! The... That is that is the hero of the channel. You are where is that blasted GIF? Ah, I need my... There it is. Wally! Thank you so much for upgrading! Oh, he... oh no, he didn't break. He's working. There we go. Thank you so much for upgrading, Wally West. You're breathtaking! Merry Christmas, buddy. Thank you. So, I mean, I want to say that all gamers are being hit like crazy, and they are. Like, gamers in general being hit like crazy on YouTube. Well, even our friends Abdallah's views are down. Um, That's why he started however, doing YouTube shorts. However, it's like hit or miss. Like, yep. some people are doing fine right now, randomly, but then in six months, their channel will randomly crash, and yep. then it will just literally, they'll go from millions of views to 300 views. Mm -hmm. So whatever is going on with YouTube is just insanity. Oh, yeah. And if you try to ask another fellow YouTuber about it, they'll be like, I'm fine. I don't have any problems. And then like three, and years, then three six, years later. No, six or, months later, they'll call and they'll be six like, months later, how are you still making an income on YouTube? Yeah, six months, they'll call mm. us and be like, how are you guys surviving? So we don't know. Basically, <laughs> like a lot of people do call us and ask us how to survive. Yeah. We're not really surviving. Like, thank you again, Wally West, for upgrading to Ultimate. Wally, Wally's how we survive. The, people yeah, like Wally. Uh, our members, <laughs> members and our Ultimate members, our patrons. Yep. Um, our Twitch members, super if, chats, super chats. Yep. Without people donating and becoming members and ultimate members, we would be like, we already made. Whoa! What, what was that? Did you hear? It? That was the cat. I think. That was Zelda. Zelda, what's wrong? Why do you? What do you do? Why do you meow like that? What's wrong? That was weird. Um, I can tell you something though. I mean part of the reason why we live stream so much is because there's different people all over the world that watch us at different times We've got people in the Philippines people in Germany people in Japan people in China and some of our top donators are only uh, uh, awake at certain hours, so When we're live uh, those people are able to donate and I've been told by YouTube or rather our, our Google manager that sometime in February or March, our YouTube channel will have what's known as thank you donations. And that means we won't have to be live as much because people will be able to donate Super Chats just on any of our 9,000 videos. There'll be a feature that says, like, thank you donation or thank you whatever. It's like a dollar sign with a thank you something. I don't know. There are a couple YouTubers that have it. It's been in the beta for, like, uh, eight or nine months. We're getting it right after my 39th birthday. So we'll be getting it... Right around the time that um, either Morbius is not Morbius, uh, some movie is going to be in theaters. Like uh, the first week of March is when we should be getting that feature, which will be great because the only way people are able to help support the channel is if we are live or a video is premiering. But that will take some like stress away from us because 
the people who want to help support the channel, they'll be able to at any time of day without us having to literally have the channel, like, active. Which it is active more than I want it to be. A YouTube channel is supposed to make an income while you're sleeping. And I don't get much sleep these days. I haven't for almost two and a half years. I get about five hours of sleep a day. I live stream about eight hours a day. Almost. Maybe more, depending... If I do Forza streams, then I stream for almost 12 hours a day. Which is insane. Um, and I have Twitch people and streamers all the time telling me it's super unhealthy. But it's like, I don't have a choice right now. Um, we just became Facebook partners a little while ago, so we're building up stuff with Facebook. That's going to take a while, but we're very thankful for the opportunity. And we're working with Facebook directly, but we're not really getting views over there. Which, I mean... You know, makes sense. We just started. But, um, you know, at least we're going to have another form of revenue, which is great. But, um, yeah, it, to answer your question, it totally sucks what's happening. There's nothing that can be done. Uh, if you're smart about it, you'll start your own newsletter. If you're a YouTuber, you'll try find some ways of reaching your community when YouTube makes it impossible for you to reach your community through the tools that YouTube has built into your YouTube channel. Because they do. They're even talking about getting rid of the community feature already. Which is, the community feature is a big deal for a lot of people. It It's like a way that you can notify subscribers and tell people what's going on in like kind of like a mini blog on your channel. And they're going to be getting rid of it, supposedly. Which is going to be really detrimental to us because we use it for all kinds of things. Running polls for what we're going to do for Let's Plays and streams, announcing contests, uh, talking to our members directly in kind of like a chat form. And YouTube is going to be yeeting it because they said not a lot of people used it. So they they always get rid of things that are actually useful for people. Uh, because in reality, a lot of their partners are idiots. There was a really cool feature that was on YouTube 10 years ago. Where you could actually um, connect your videos to one another. So outside of playlists, we used to have over like four or 5,000 videos that were interconnected. Like basically, I don't know if you guys remember the video response system. But we used the video response system back in the day to hotlink our videos, which made it easier for the audience watching stuff to, um, you know, uh, find our content. But YouTube eventually scrapped that. They were like, nah, we're not going to do that. We're going to get rid of that. And that hurt us. So. Um, I think we finished it. Oh, come on! Are you serious? I have to do it one more time? Boo! Boo game! Uh, teleport enemies. I have no idea. Um, we'll just do it again. Again, again, again! Again until we finish it. Uh... Uh... Oh yeah, of course YouTube only listens to celebrities. They don't care about the people that... Amber and I and a lot of like thousands of other gaming channels help build YouTube the way it was with the revenue and bloggers and things like that. And then, you know, when they started to kowtow to celebrities, probably in like 2019, 2018, that's when the platform started to change in their favor and people who are just like average Joes making content on the internet, live streaming or doing uploads or video essays... All those people started to be impacted. Um, right now, the biggest like commodity on YouTube isn't gaming anymore. I would say it's probably the vlogging and the video essay channels again. Which, the video essay channels are pretty cool, but I mean, that can be a hit or miss. Either you're going to spend 72 to 48 hours making an awesome video and people are either going to watch it or not. That's That's very difficult. I know what really gets me is, I mm. mean, I don't know, it's just really stupid. It's probably just a petty thing. Petty thing. But, like, I watch these mom vlog channels. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, Amber and I will survive because we're smarter than most people. We've been building up memberships. We made a, um off-channel, off-website uh, newsletter that mm. is going to hit, like, a few thousand people probably by February or March so most of the people that you see coming to our live streams they're not random people off the internet they're people who have our newsletter mm -hmm. because we can only notify half of 1% of 500,000 people a day yeah. so if you can do math half of 1% of 500,000 is not very many people 
Our newsletter reaches a percentage of close to 700 people a day. So, I mean, you know, we're cutting out YouTube for a lot of stuff. We're also willing to work up to 16 hours a day. Yeah, that too. To try to... Harm challenges. Counteract the... YouTube algorithm trying to destroy us. But I know, I personally know of a lot of people that gave up. They quit. They either went to Twitch or they just went to Facebook Gaming or they literally quit. They just, they left YouTube. We, you know, we get, um, sometimes we get famous YouTubers that come by and talk to Luke and donate or DM Luke and tell them about how there are people more famous than us that have quit. Oh, yeah. Because YouTube just kept kicking the car out of them with the algorithm. Yep. And there were also channels this year that they had, they got hacked by Bitcoin scammers and they quit. They were like, they got their channel back and they realized their channel was wrecked and they just, either they went only to their Twitch channel if they had that. Some are Instagram and TikTok partners. They just went back to Instagram or TikTok. You know, they, they completely abandoned their audiences after they were hacked. I feel like we are the Psy of YouTube. The Psy? The Psy is not the most famous K-pop star, but he's the one that never stopped. I like Psy. Making music. He said he would always, you know, with the K-pop stars that would try. He always talked about how he tried for so long and he would always be there to, you know, buy them a drink or something when they failed. Mm-hmm. Um... And he had no idea he was ever going to make it big because he made it big when he was older. I always liked Psy's videos. I actually knew... I'm a big fan of what, him. What I like is I actually knew Psy before he was famous. Like, I was one of those rando people that happened to find his content before, you know, Gangnam Style. So it was it was kind of interesting to see, like, you know, people, like, really get into the fad. But I, yeah, I'd known didn't him. I think he would ever become famous. It, yeah. I mean, we may hit, like, something that will make millions again, but... I doubt done, it. We've done every game that people said, you know, play Minecraft, you'll make millions. We do play Minecraft. Yep. You know, play, um, Fortnite. You will have millions of games. We do play Fortnite. Yeah. So basically, so, we've... I mean, we hired, like, analysts and stuff to help us. We have, like, a, a really cool guy named TJ who sometimes you guys see on the Discord. His job is actually... He's a paid analyst. We can't pay him, but he is a very intelligent guy who's worked with a lot of key YouTubers, and even he can't figure out how to fix the channel, and eventually was just like, yeah, he says there's obviously bugs and issues with it, because he says, if YouTube has confirmed that we can only notify half of 1% of 500,000, he says, personally, he says, I would give up, because there's nothing you and Amber can ever do. And that's why, you know, I came up with the newsletter. I can't give up YouTube because, number one, my husband's disabled, he can't really work out of his home. No, 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 no. Well, that's really not the main thing that makes me not give up YouTube. The reason why I don't give up YouTube, no matter how much it kicks me in the face, is... Face kicking. <laughs> I don't want to work... I don't want to work for, I don't want to work in a cubicle in an office where I have to wear all black and I can barely speak to anyone. I've worked insurance, I've worked at the bank, I've worked, I've actually worked as a musician, I've worked like, you know, in a string quartet, I've worked, I've worked a lot of terrible retail jobs, I've worked a lot of jobs. Whoa! Mm. Aw, so you're saying I'm not I, that bad. I would much rather come to work, even though there's this dent in the couch that bothers me. I have made a perma dent in this couch, and until we sell this couch, it's always gonna have my butt dent. the time dent. I talk to Luke, <laughs> I don't even think that he's hearing what I'm saying. That's an ADD I, thing. I'm just like, okay, Luke, what are the videos for today? Six hours later, he tells me, oh, we had a video for tonight, and I'm like, okay, but I didn't remember you saying. <laughs> and I was like. You know, but the thing is, like, I, I'm a, you know, I'm like William Wallace. I'm Scottish. I have to be free. I can't work for the man. I cannot go to a corporate office and have somebody tell me every day how to dress, what to say, what to do, you know, give me these weird little, you know, reports, these weird little 
T you know, TPA reports. reports. Yay! I can't do. I can't. When I if check I the toner, in, Amber. If I work in an office, <laughs> it feels like I'm in that movie Office Space. I feel <laughs> like I'm a living nightmare. Oh, or I'm in Dilver. I cannot. I actually feel like running out and screaming. I can't work. I can't do that. I can't. Like I feel like my spirit dies just the way, just the way that I cannot wear shoes. I'm not wearing shoes right now. So I'm just saying like. No matter how much YouTube tries to punch me in the face, I will keep working for them because I'm a survivor. It's just like I want to be free. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on, Zell? I just want to be free. That was random. I just want to be free to make my own content. I want to be free to uh, get up and be creative and make. Oh man! Like I don't want to be a person that's just like. Zelda, oh, wow. Zelda, what are you? Spider-Man movie came out. It would be so cool if I could like. Oh, that'd be cool if somebody made like a fun video. Like, like have you ever like been somewhere and you're talking with your friends or your cousins or you're talking with your coworkers and you're like, yeah, I have all these cool ideas about the new Spider-Man. Oh man, I wish I could make a video about this and tell people my opinion about this. But you know, I'm not a YouTuber or anything like this. Hi. Hey, hey. Well, that's like the difference. Like, I. That's the thing about being a YouTuber is then you are a YouTuber, so you can make a video about it. You can. You can be creative. You can say your ideas about the new Batman movie. You can. You can do something. And it's also the hope in the future that you could do something else. Like, maybe in the future you could do a. You know. A weird skit, or. You don't know. Like. The reason why I keep working on the channel, even though it's not paying me anything, it's kicking me in the face constantly. It's like, what about in 10 years? I mean, years it's, it's the... paying us something because we can afford our rent. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, in the future, what if it turns into some... It's the idea, like, what if in the future, 10 years <gasps> from now... Oh my gosh, it's done! Oh, it's wow. done! It's done. Step 11 is done! Yeah! Oh my gosh! Do you know how long that took? That is super frustrating. All right, hang on, Amber. Um, woo -hoo! um, no, 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 no. Um, I need your eyes. I need your eyes, sweetie. Okay, what's the next, uh, next, next, next objectives? Does it say talk to Liz? Oh, answer what? Answer Max's thing at the. I don't actually have my glasses. On. Oh, you don't have your glass? I found your glasses, and then they're not there anymore. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, I just... It's like... It's like... you Working for YouTube now is like... Okay, say you had a rich uncle. And your uncle was like, Can you work at my mechanic shop for a while? And he was paying you a very, very, very handsome fee to work for your in his shop. And it was like, wow, everything was going really well. And then, like, after a while, after, like, six or seven years, your uncle was like, Sorry, we've fallen on hard times. I can only pay you, like, 13 cents a day to work here. And you realize that it's a really great job still. You're still learning a lot from it. Like, you know, you don't want to leave because you've already been, this is your career and you've been working here your whole life. So you just decide to stay on for 13 cents a day. Yeah, just so you guys know, Amber's being a little bit I'm just, exaggerating. I'm like we don't <laughs> literally make like we there, don't make 13 you couldn't cents a day, you couldn't you couldn't do this job with 13 cents a day. It'd be impossible. I'm just saying, like imagine it's just like saying Amber over exaggerates or under exaggerates. What it's like. That's what YouTube is is like. Oh my gosh. It's like you imagine, and then your uncle says, "No, like I'm gonna have my ship come in." And in seven years, I can pay you really well again. So that's kind of what you working for YouTube is like right now. That's how I I see it. It's like everyone working for YouTube right now is just hanging on, or uh -oh. hopefully something. If they screw us all over, I'm gonna be so mad. But yeah, right now people are not doing well. On YouTube. Let's just say that. Yeah. So we have contingency plans because I'm a Batman guy. So. We have the newsletter, we are pushing memberships, we have like an, another uh, revenue stream coming in because, you know, we're Facebook uh, partners. We have a uh, Twitch affiliate. We're trying to work on something business related for Instagram to make money on that. 
You know, there's there's lots of things that we're doing. We do have merchandise, but we don't plug it very much. Um, yeah. just I don't know. I don't know why we don't. We never needed to because we were doing well on the views. Mm. Ah! So we didn't really need to, but I think I'm gonna die. We'll have to be better at plugging. Yeah. I made the little advertisement on our newsletter. So that helps. Yeah, Amber uh, added the little merchandise tab on the newsletter because I didn't know how to do that, so. She plugs the merchandise more than I do, like every day at 10 a.m. <laughs> it's like, it's written in the newsletter itself, and it's like, oh, cool. I didn't know how to do that. So, uh, it was cool that she did that. Good. I like working ah! with you. Very, I enjoy working with you, too. Uh, I grew up in a in a home where my, some of my family members, they their job was they did work together. My grandma and grandpa, after my grandpa retired as chief of police in New York State, um, he became a hot dog man, and that was a job my grandma and my grandfather did together. My grandma would c cook the hot dogs. My grandfather would go out and sell them. My grandma would do the books of the business, and they worked together. Like, they worked together for 30 years, and they didn't kill each other. So, I mean, I always was kind of like, it would be really cool if I could find a job that I could do with my wife, because then I could spend more time with her. Um, you know, which has been the case. I mean, Amber and I have spent... Uh, it feels like a lot longer than how long we've been married because we, we literally see each other every day um, at least 8 or 9, maybe 12, 13 hours a day um, uh, during every everything you can think of. And it doesn't drive us crazy. I mean, sometimes Amber has to leave the house, but I like being around her. Yeah, basically, know? like, I get in... Woohoo! I, I get annoyed working on the channel with Luke, but I get annoyed also at my other jobs that I've had, so they're even worse, so... I basically get annoyed with life in general, like... I almost had this channel called The Ranting Bear, where I would just rant about things that bothered me. So, I'm Luke's trying to teach what? me I have to be less angry person, so... Channel your rage. Okay, it's, that not didn't good, do it's not good to be like me and be a No. No, it's not. Because it's not good for your little ticker. I'm so happy that we were able to... Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, that's... That's what's his name. I was like, oh, okay, Iron Man. Iron Man's here. Sure you can! A, a bad thing about working for yourself every day is... You wake up in the morning and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I have to figure out what I'm going to do. Well, you have to have a drive to keep yourself on task because yeah, no one else is going to keep you on task. That's problem. But the great thing about it is ba -ba -ba. you don't... We... I really don't like people like telling me what to do. Like That's one one of my pet peeves. Like uh -oh. People like on my back, bosses, etc. telling me what to do. Like, Yee! Oh, you didn't file this right. Because Where's that TPA report? <laughs> It really bothers me. <laughs> it's like I have to have someone like... Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. So, it's just like Whoa, I... Whoa, that's the coolest that made the wall running. That was cool. I know, that looked pretty cool. So, I mean, it's a trade-off. It's, it's a trade-off. But, yeah, I mean, like, they're... They are screwing us over by having, like, Jimmy Kimmel on here and promoting them. And... You know, I, there are certain celebrities like that I used to kind of like, Jeez. and I don't really like them anymore Whoa. because they're taking my job. So it's like, how dare you? And they don't actually need to take my job. Like they already have a job. Like they. They didn't need to be on YouTube. They have like Hollywood. They already have their. Get off my space! You can't play at my playground. It's. They already have their like. Uh, what is up ah! with all these celebrities with their late night shows on the... On YouTube? On YouTube. Kelly Clarkson, Jimmy Kimmel, everybody... Because has... it's cheaper to make a show for YouTube than it is to get, like, a television deal. Like, they, they literally save... The reason why they, they revenue stream on YouTube is because they make... They cut out television. Like, I mean, I really see that streaming stuff is the future. And then eventually, network television, as you know it, is just going to go bye bye Like, everybody is just going to use streaming, like streaming services. And they'll save more money, and then those companies can pocket more. I, yeah, I mean, I hope in the future, I mean, this will never happen, because I'm... But I hope... Uh, oh, I no, 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 no
no, 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 no. I would like to imagine. <gasps> no. Yes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's fine. I'm gonna die anyway. You can't stop that now. Can't stop that I don't now. Be the reason that you die. No, the reason that I'm gonna die is I only have one life, and uh, these assault vehicles are mean, and there's no health. See how I'm blinking and my spider sense? Mm -hmm. Spider, yeah, spider sense is not really helping me. It's kind of like. Well, I would like to imagine I I have some hope, but I don't know what this is. But sometimes when I go to these celebrities' uh, channels, and like yeah. they they say something like they're like, "Here's my opinion, and everyone should follow it because I'm a celebrity. Everyone should do what I say," which is a normal thing they do a lot. Um. I noticed that, Ooh. like, in the comments, a lot, uh -huh. people will write, like, wow, oh, no. why should we listen to ah. you? You know, why should we listen to you, Oprah, or oh, Jimmy Kimmel, my or, gosh. or Kelly Clarkson? Like, you're nothing like us. You have, you know, all these billions of, you know, cars and all this stuff. So I noticed that people... You know, you don't really see that in YouTubers. You don't really ah! see that. You don't really see, like... Where are you going with this? What I'm saying is, like, when you when you see a YouTuber, even though the YouTubers are kind of crazy, mm -hmm. I mean, people still feel like when a YouTuber says something, like, a person vlogging from their house, like, Hey guys, I just got this new product and, Ow. you know, I just wanted to tell you guys about it and it's kind of cool. It helps me, you know, take care of my cat better or something. You don't really see comments like, yeah, of course you would say that, <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. I'm saying that YouTubers are still more relatable than people like Jimmy Kimmel and all these people. Even though YouTubers are insane. At least they're actually vlogging from their actual house, like a human being, instead of from a studio. I always loved at the beginning of the pandemic That's when when saying. you saw like all these Hollywood people kind of struggling to get on YouTube. That to me was hilarious because they had they had all this uh, all this money, right? But then they didn't have the basic stuff like in order to make like a decent video. Like their oh, their audio was all echoey. Their webcams were garbage. It was hilarious. Oh, Mm, no, our web our webcam nice. still still worked better than the ones that they had because they would just go to the store I, and like randomly get, get something some random. We need to get like some Christmas lights around here. Christmas battery, lights. Battery Christmas lights. Battery Christmas lights. Yeah, we'll help our lighting problem. Zelda, we completed our quest. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, you notice like uh -oh. that the comment sections. What I'm trying to say is. The comment sections for these celebrities versus the comment sections Boom. for YouTubers are like night and day difference. <gasps> Yay! Know, what I'm saying, like even really yeah. famous YouTubers, YouTubers still treat their audience as if they are like them. You know, like hey guys, you know. I'm I mean, just... we're just people on the other end of a microphone. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like even really famous YouTubers still kind of in a way treat their audience like they're on an equal level yeah, yeah, yeah. whereas you know these celebrities behind a desk and behind a studio they don't really treat their audience as if they're the same as their audience you Neat. know what i'm saying yep okay i'm done yep okay so we need to go back to the anthill now how do we do this again how do we go to the anthill travel to i think it's here in utah is where the anthill is yes okay. nope story time Story time, story time. Uh, no more time for soapbox time. Fine, uh, sorry about the soapbox. It's okay. 49, I'm just excited to continue. 49, uh, 10. What's going on with your coat? What do you mean? It's noir coat. Story time. Story time with Liz. Um, so we need to go someplace and watch TV now because we're on step number 12 finally. And it says, mm, uh, video call in the anthill. So we're looking for the Spider-Man icon. Spider-Man icon. Move, people. I'm looking for something important. No. No. It'll have my Spidey. Oh. Is it Liz? No. What? Where do I go in the anthill? Where do I go? How do I get my spider call? Where's Liz Allen? No, Liz Allen isn't it. 
I'm supposed to go get a call from something. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's a TV. It's a TV. Okay. Found it. Hello. Finally. You are definitely not supposed to be here. Does it help if I say I come in peace? Marginally. Look, I know I'm probably not your favorite person right now, but I am here to help. Smite. I mean, he's gone off the deep end. Why the sudden change of heart? Last I saw, you didn't have a problem making robots specifically designed to kill me. I know. I know. But you have to understand, it was the only way I could make sure Liz was safe. From AIM? You would have ruined her career. Or, or worse. And now they know that Liz and her friend at the Bugle are helping you guys destroy those chemical caches. They're making moves. So let me help give you an edge against them. Okay, it doesn't make up for everything, but... Maybe Subtitles broke. Okay. Cards on the table. Mm, you're right. Liz trusts you, but I'm going against my gut by letting you be here. You're on shaky ground, Raxton. I'm keeping my eye on you. Good. That means you're not an idiot. Okay, now what? So that was... We got something spider-related. Spider-Man Noir. I'm going to go back to classic Spidey again because Noir is okay. Sorry for so long. You're fine. Um, let's see. Objectives. No, we don't want emotes. Objectives. 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 How do I do the objectives? There we go. What's now on the list? Step 13. Perform sprint or evade against enemies? 40 of them? 40 sprints? This is dumb. Threats and menaces. Blah. I'm sorry, but this is dumb. 40. There is this. Uh, 52, 10, uh, threats, and menaces. Uh, I'm gonna well, kinda... really, really this is going to bite me again. Mm. This is going to come back to bite me. Eating of candy is not good. No, eating candy is not good. Is this plugged into something? What are you doing? Is this plugged into It doesn't reach that far. It's plugged into this controller, obviously. There you go. Thank you. It's not a very a long cable because I use that cable for important things. All right, so sprinting. Oh, I have to sprint away from enemies. I can't just sprint randomly, right? Can I sprint randomly? No. So we have to run away from enemies. Hooray! Uh, let's go back to the harm table. Threats and menaces. Liz? Uh, anything? I'm no. Glad that Oprah was nice to your family. Gaming K. I don't trust any celebrities though, so. But mm -hmm. it's nice that she was nice to your family. Good to hear. Okay. Um let's go do a uh Pacific or thing can I do this? I hope she gave you guys a free car. You get a car, and you get a car, and you get a car. Okay, here we go. Spider time. Spider friends, go for it. Da 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 ba da 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 I have that song stuck in my head because I can. I, will scan the area for aim I also have the 70s Spider-Man theme always in my head because it's actually pretty funky. <laughs> so boxes are the best, definitely. Spider-Man! Uh, actually, I'm curious if they actually have. I need to hear it now. I need to hear it. Just from they can't hear it, but I need to hear it because it's yeah. awesome. 
You just need to hear it. I just need to hear it, yep. I, I think they still have it, because I used it in a video years ago. Spider-Man 70s. 70s. Oh, they don't have the full version, though. They only have... I used to have, like, the, the whole... Uh, mm -hmm. they only have Tony Stark wants to know, is Rhodey in this game? Mm. Not that I know of. I mean, maybe he is an NPC. Ooh. <gasps> Yay! It says 1977. Woo! Yep, that's when it was. Spider-Man! Cool, I'm gonna download the soundtrack because I don't have the whole thing. It's funky! Has arrived. Protect those inhumans. Cool. Yeah, there's that saxophone. That's what I hear in my head all the time. It's like, when you think Spider-Man, you think saxophone. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Whee! Oh yeah, I have to run away from people. Run away from enemies sprinting! Whee! <laughs> I'm sprinting! Does this count as sprinting? I'm just running around in circles. My spider sense is going off. Oh my gosh, it does. It counts. It counts. The sprinting counts. Ah! People are worried about copyright. Eh. At this point, I'm getting hit. It with. doesn't count! Perform a sprint or evade enemy attacks? What? But I just ran away from people. I don't understand. Make it make sense. I'm literally running away from people. Mm -hmm. Joseph West says we're both playing as Spider-Man right now, but I have the better swinging in Fortnite. <laughs> oh! I was a sick burn on this uh, game, Joseph West. Very sick burn. <laughs> I don't like the music in this game. This music is just—it's so boring. Like the music is just meh. Spider-Man running running in circles does not count as gaming. K. Why? Then what, what counts as sprinting away from enemies? Explain that oh, to me. Your girlfriend helped you with the tree for your family because you didn't know how the thing makes the tree stand up, so you needed help? That's awesome, DC nerd. That's great. I guess she's a keeper then if she knows how to set up a Christmas tree. What? I don't understand. Current objectives... Perform a sprint or evade attacks. <laughs> what does that even mean? Timothy says, Spider-Man and his marginally good friends. Um, Marginally good friends? No, Spider-Man Gar and his marginally good <laughs> Garrett says, I would pay good money for an amazing friends video game. Where you could play as Spidey, Iceman, and Firestar. It was an arcade game. I think. Awesome. Well, I mean, Iceman and Captain America were in it. Um, oh, wait, says, I remember watching Spider-Man and his amazing friends, that one cartoon where he teams up with Iceman and Firestar. Yep. Definitely, OH. Irene says, I don't remember that TV show. I was one year old. Oh, wow, Irene. What TV show? The Spider-Man and his amazing friends. It was on reruns until, like, 1980... Late 80s. Um, Nathan said, cool, funky, fresh music, yo. And you were playing that song. Oh, yeah. Can we actually turn Ooh. off... Can we do settings? I want to turn off the Avengers music. Do some more, uh... New Luke Avengers is getting music. into a boxing match with Jimmy Fallon when... I'm sorry, but Jimmy Fallon is all over YouTube at this point. Like, he's like the most youtube -y celebrity. Most youtube -y celebrity? That's interesting. Him and Kelly Clarkson, they're just all over the place. Inhuman down. You must keep them safe. All right, you guys are uh, letting me know Oprah doesn't have a TV show. I didn't realize that anymore. I'm going to do something fun. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Thank you, Rob. Okay. Thank you for the super chat, Rob. Says, if it helps, I watch your Spider-Man Let's Plays a lot. Thank you so yeah. much, Rob. Every little bit helps. 
Thank you so much. I mean, some celebrities, you guys might like them. They might be nice. But I have to not like them because they're taking my job. <laughs> Even if I liked them beforehand, I end up not liking them when I see them on YouTube because I'm like, why are you taking my job? <laughs> I did it. I put it on YouTube. Whee! Wow. Whee! It makes the game better! <laughs> Tony Stark says yes! Woo! Let's go! Uh, uh, uh. Um, can't wait for Christmas, says Gaming K. Definitely. Christmas is almost here, guys. Woohoo! Um, Luke is just, yeah, he usually cares about copyright, but at this point he's just, he needs, he needs a boost. Mm -hmm. He wants to hear his music. He wants to be free. This, if this video gets copyright, it's not on me, but I feel like it won't get, I don't know. Don't know. I don't know. All right, good night, Shabazz, Yasin. Thank you so much. Thanks for the super chat, um, Rob. And Brandon says no. It's that's Jake Paul Amber. Oh right, who gets into boxing matches with people? Yeah, exactly, Brandon. Um, I got a question for you guys. How do I um? Okay, that's done. Well, oh, so Irene was one year old when that. Uh, show came out awesome, Irene. One, one show. Thank you, Rob, for the super chat. Thank you so much for watching all the Spider Man Let's Plays. Really appreciate that, Rob. Spider Man is amazing friends. Irene was one year old. Good night, Shabazz. And, um. Does anybody know how to do this step? It says right here I'm supposed to perform a sprint or evade attacks against enemies? How in the world do I do that? That's what I want to know. Ow. Oh, you said the electro theme song is fire. Is that like an electro theme song from the n this n newest movie or an older electro theme song? I don't know. Mm. You see, this the music for the Avengers game is so boring. Just like the chord progression is lame. It's just... <laughs> doesn't really do what? anything. Yeah, um, Garrett, Garrett said, I feel like the spectacular Spider-Man or Spider-Man, the animated series themes would really improve this game. Says Garrett. Yeah, definitely. You know what this music sounds like? It sounds like the composer fell asleep at his keyboard, and then as he's moving, it, like, changes, like, a few notes every once oh. in a while. Oh, wait. So, that one guy... Composed it. Um, what's his name? Yeah, it's just, it's just. Uh, Hans Zimmer made the music. The problem is, the fact that the levels are so repetitive. It's what really kills the music for this game. It just, yeah. Mm. All right. Um, Oh says you have to avoid the enemies a millisecond before they're about to hit you. What about the sprinting? What don't does just, that mean? Don't just run away from them. Gaming case says you have to dodge right when they're about to hit you. All right, thank you guys. Jake Paul does new boxing matches matches every month, Brandon. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Being kept in portable cells. So the dodging is going to be a pain in the butt ski. Oh wow, Richard says you and Amber have a great Christmas and New Year's. You guys helped <sighs> me beat Metroid Dread. Awesome, hey, Richard. Hey, that's great, Richard. Jamarlin says evading attack is when you press circle then square or triangle. You might have to unlock the ability through your skill points. Though. Wait, what? what okay, did you just thank say? you, Jamarlin. What do you say? Evade attack is when you press circle, then square or triangle, but you might have to unlock that ability through the skill points. Thank you, Jamarlin and um, OH and Gaming K. Thank you, guys. I mean, I have something when I hit circle and then triangle, I do this. I don't know. Oh, 
Whee! <laughs> Apparently, all the other days of the year, it's almost Christmas, so Luke is just not caring about anything at this point. It's on my point. other computer, they can't hear it. He just wants to be happy right now. Yeah, it's better music than what I'm listening to. Oh wow, you turned four in 1980? Oh wow, Irene, that's awesome. So you lived a uh, good portion of your life in the 80s. That's awesome, Irene. Lucky. Rock on, Irene. That's awesome. Oh, the tree was alive and stand up. It helped me to stand up, but the instructions were in French. And Whoa. your girlfriend is good at reading French? Oh, wow, DC nerd. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm glad she could read that. My back! I wouldn't have been able to read instructions in French. That's really awesome. That's fantastic. Yep. Actually, I think we're doing pretty good. Where are we now? Yeah! Almost done with it. Sweet. Web bomb! Now activated. Yay! Well, now I understand what I'm supposed to do, so... Hey! Ho! Here we go. Yeah! Yeah, I'm safe now. Hi there. Woo! Swinging from a web. I'm helping what? There they are. You'll need to destroy the locking mechanisms to open the cells. Surprise! This this is apparently doing its thing. <laughs> no. Woohoo! Hi there. Did I complete my objective yet? Almost. Hey, big guy. I think we did it. Oh, wow. What is this? Open what? Open strong boxes? What? I don't understand. Ow, my back! No, he, he literally grabs his back when he gets hit in this. He looks like an old man. Woot. What are strong boxes? Come here. All things considered, that went pretty well. Little fun fact for you guys about 1977 Spider-Man. Uh, did you know that outside of the US, he had three of his um uh I guess you would say, like, um, some of his big episode arcs were turned into theatrical movie releases. So making Nicholas Hammond technically the first ever live-action movie Spider-Man. His movies debuted in 1980 over in France, Germany, the UK, and other English-speaking countries. Although in the US, 
his stuff would only end up being uh, put on TV movies in the, I believe, early 90s uh, on USA Network. Like, it was a special Spider-Man takeover. It was the first time the uh, things had been aired in the U.S. as theatrical movies. I don't remember why they did that, but yeah, Nicholas Hammond actually appeared as the first film Spider-Man outside of the U.S. He had a 13-episode uh, um, series that the episodes were actually pretty long. Like, uh, I believe they were like hour episodes or something like that. So, some of the, the Spider-Man movies, like the Enter the Dragon movie, or not Enter the Dragon, the, uh, the Case of the Dragon, which was one of his last things that he appeared in the 80s, uh, was a pretty interesting movie. But the problem is, when... Ever it came to Spider-Man doing incredible feats, his web slinging looks so fake. Like, he would always, they would use the same shot of Spider-Man running up to this pole in New York City where he would shoot his web slinger, and then he would just, like, swing across to this other building, which was a real stunt that they did, and it looked pretty terrifying. But it also looked ridiculous. And also, they used to use a invisible rope to pull the stuntman who apparently was afraid of heights, up the side of buildings. So it didn't even look like the guy was trying to climb up the building. He was just like, it looked like he was gliding across of it. Um, because apparently the stuntman was afraid of heights, but, you know, he didn't want to get fired because he was good at the other aspects of the Spider-Man role, which was the martial arts and things like that. But they only had, like, really one stuntman for most of the Spider-Man show. Um, yeah. For, it was the 70s. I have it on uh, VHS somewhere. I don't think they've ever released it on DVD. I could be wrong, but... In the America, it was a 1977 live-action superhero show. And then it was cut into theatrical movies for outside of uh, a U.S. release. Where uh, the first Spider-Man movie actually was screened in theaters. And then, um, I believe his other ones were for television movies. And I might... I'm trying to remember where I have the videotape of, uh, the Spider... I have at least the, the first 1970s Spider-Man movie. And then I have the 1980s one where he's in Hong Kong. Which is a, a pretty interesting movie. He doesn't fight any... The problem I had with the show is he doesn't fight any iconic, like, Spider-Man villains. He basically fights, like, the organized mob. Like, uh, basically, he's kind of like Batman Year One. He, he just fights mob bosses. Which, he does prevent New York City from being nuked in the second movie. The second movie is called Spider-Man and the Deadly Dust. Um, because a, a bunch of college kids somehow make a nuclear bomb. And then, like, uh, it gets taken by terrorists and they almost blow up uh, Gerald Ford. Or something like that. I think it was either Nixon or Gerald Ford who was president. I don't remember. But uh, the music was really good for the, the Spider-Man show. The costume looked ridiculous. The stunts looked terrible. But Nicholas Hammond did a great job as, as Peter Parker and Spider-Man. The only problem is he he didn't use like a different voice for Peter Parker and Spider-Man. So early on, pick, people figured out who were close to him that he was Peter Parker. And he didn't have iconic characters like Gwen Stacy or Mary Jane Watson in the show. He had other uh, Spider-Man female love interests that I think were made just for certain episodes. Like, I remember his girlfriend being Chinese in the, um, the Hong Kong movie in the 80s. And he had, like, some other reporter girlfriend that looked like Lois Lane from the Superman Christopher Reeves movies. So... interesting I like I like stuff like that no way home is the best spider-man movie I can't wait to see what Marvel is going to do uh, now according to Marvel Studios the old spider-man movies are canon to the MCU uh, to the multiverse yep the Tommy McGuire and Andrew Garfield movies are canon mm-hmm technically Nicholas Hamlin showed up in the uh, diner at the end of the movie so you could argue that his movies are canon, too. <laughs> if you wanted to. 1970 Spider-Man. And, uh... 
I would love to see in the Across the Spider-Verse if they show Japanese Spider-Man. Because Japanese Spider-Man was a thing. I actually think that Japanese Spider-Man was better than the uh, American live-action Spider-Man show. Be it was more interesting. It was a very cool use of the, the Spider-Man license. Nice work. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate it. So, uh, let me ask you guys and gals this question. What do I do for the... I don't know, Amber, if you can read the objective. I'm, I'm going to send it to you. Um, but it, I need to open some type of box. That's a good question. Is the 70 Spider-Man series available on DVD? Or is it only available in, the US, um, in like, Britain? All right, I'm on the objectives list, honey. It says, open something. What are strong boxes? It says ten of them. Open ten strong boxes. I only need to do four more steps, and I complete the Liz Allen stuff. So how do I? What are what are uh, what are strong boxes? Strong boxes are chests. Okay, where can we go to open chests? Does it matter? I want to open. I'll open the chests. Then I get to another step. There's only there's only 18 steps. What happens when you complete 18 steps? Then the Liz Allen story is over. The Spider-Man story is over, and I erase this game. Do you get anything? Yeah, you get one costume. I can show you the costume you get. That's all you get. You get you get one costume. Yeah, you get this costume. Wow, that's really not worth it. Yeah, you go through six live streams and you get this costume. Yep. That's really dumb. Yep. Why would they make you go through all that for one costume? I don't know. It's just what they do. It's what they do. You get one costume. This one. But then you, you know, you went you went through the steps and you did it. Um, sweetie, try to cover your mouth if you cough. Sorry. I don't, I don't want to be that guy, but... Cover your mouth. Thank you. Specialty. What is this? Web bombs. Boom. Yay, web bombs. Web bomb two. Boom. Oh, you like that the lizard talked in No Way Home says Game Boy. I thought the lizard talked in Amazing Spider-Man. Maybe he didn't. What is this? Uh, old one tech. I thought he did too. Spider drones. No. Boom! Cool. Yeah. What is this? Racking ball. Boom. Extra wind. Ultimate. I don't know. Whatever that is. Strong boxes are just the chests in the game. Cool, cool, cool. Marvel makes everything canon now. Ha! Huh. Says Joseph West. That yeah, seems to be. Seems to be the case. Uh, Mastery. I don't know. What is this? A punching? I did a punching upgrade. Blown away. What is this? Oh, oh, oh. Melee upgrade, yes. Spider Pig is canon. Spider Pig is canon. Everything's canon. Spider Verse is canon. Takedown upgrade, yes. Sweet. Uh, upgrade time. What is this? This is web status upgrade. I don't. Yep. Sure. Oh, you haven't seen the Andrew Garfield movies? Well, I mean, I wish I could say they're good, but... Amazing Spider-Man 1 isn't bad. The second one is lame. Uh, but maybe you'll find things you like about them. I don't know. It's up to you. It's up to you to find what you want to like. And what in the world is all this stuff? Uh, I don't know what any of that is. That's too confusing. Go away. Like Spider-Man 3, kind of. I'm not going to act like it was a great film. da 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 da
you know what they should have done? They should have licensed out um, Nicholas Hammond's like Spider-Man theme, and then they could have played that when Bully Maguire was oh walking gosh, around. That would have been, been amazing. That would have been amazing. It would have been it would have been a nice little like. He could have done Saturday Night Fever. No, we didn't want. They couldn't get Saturday Night Fever, so they didn't bother to do it. But I'm saying it would have been amazing for them to do it the other way. Like, it would have been very cool. Oh, well. But in what? Why was she waiting tables and then also singing? Because that's what she was doing. She wasn't, she didn't. She was both? She was both. She had to wait tables and then sing? Yeah, something like that. Uh, in fact, somebody should cut the, uh, the Tobey Maguire thing. Um... Recut it with the uh, the Spider-Man '70s theme. That'd be hilarious. Look, your thumbnail for this is so good for the last stream. Which one? This one looks good too, but I like the Ultimate Spider-Man Ultimate Select stream thumbnail you made. Oh, the. It looks so good. Well, I found the Ultimate Spider-Man um, thingy. So. Wow, the animation for that show was so cool. No, that wasn't. That's a comic book, honey. The Venom looks so good there too. Wow, that's such a great picture. Ooh, that's cool. <clears throat> this one looks good, too. Did you know that whenever I type in Spider-Man, Marvel's Avengers, Spider-Man, your, your thumbnails pop up. Like, that's oh. just because you watch the channel. I'm not in the search engine. Oh, okay. That's only because you we show up because you watch the channel. Oh, sorry. I don't, we don't show up in the search engine for I'm stuff. Sorry. Thumbnails don't matter. They they they, they don't used thumbnails used to matter when it came to the search engine and it doesn't matter anymore. Like you you can see my stuff because you're a super fan you watch my stuff. <laughs> uh, I like you being a super fan I don't have any problems with that. Da, 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 da. Oh, Moop. yay! All right, let's go do another mission where we find chests. Hooray! Uh, is there a place we can go that has a, a plethora of chests that we can get? That'd be neat. Nighttime Avengers, maybe this one. I don't know. It's always, always... Whoa, why would you do that? Don't do that. Stop that. I didn't say, hey, go back. So I have to open nine chests. Ten chests. Ten chests. Bloop. Uh, if Tom Holland's Spider-Man gets the black suit, I hope that Marvel Studios doesn't make a stupid scene like Sony did in Spider-Man Three. Um, I mean, if I'm I'm assuming you've seen uh the Spider-Man movie, they're most likely not going to um. Tom Holland isn't going to get the Venom suit. Uh, they'll probably give it to Flash Thompson and do the Agent Venom thing, and uh, also. Most likely, the person that Tom Hardy is going to fight is going to be, um, uh, what? What? I, what? Why are you saying careful? No, I, I was saying that the Sony, Sony vs. Spider-Man is going to be Andrew Garfield. The MCU Spider-Man is, um, Tom Holland. Like... It's all over the news. I don't know why. It's just all over the news that. Yeah. Several shield agents have been waylaid by AIM forces. Commander Hill has asked for the. Yeah, because Tom Tom Hardy in the post credits, he gets sent back to his own universe, which is the Sony verse. He's not in the MCU anymore, which was a letdown because everybody thought Venom was going to be in the MCU for a while. He was in the MCU for two minutes, left behind a smidgen of his uh, symbiote. And then went back to his own universe. So. Of course we saw the post credit scene. I can tell you what they're probably going to do for Tom Holland's fourth movie. They're going to introduce Black Cat. He's going to meet Felicia in college just like he met Felicia in college in the comics. Felicia Harding. And uh, then he'll probably fight either Craven the Hunter for his next movie, or they'll do. Um, uh, let's see. They're not. They might do the Vulture again. Ooh, first chest. 
First chest, yay! Let's find more chests. Give me chests. Woohoo! Awesome. Yeah, most likely Andrew Garfield is going to fight Venom. But I hope that they don't title his movie Amazing Spider-Man 3 because I think they need to distance themselves from the amazing title. I think Andrew Garfield can be a very good Spider-Man in uh, the Sony-verse. Because Sony wants to cut Marvel out of, like, all their profit margins. Because they're already sharing Spider-Man in the MCU. They don't want to share film, you know, stuff with the Marvel Studios people. So their Sony-verse is not something Marvel can technically touch. Technically. It's all a bit technical, but Sony's characters are secure. S Sony's film rights. Um, Wee. Yeah, Luke wasn't saying who was in or not in the No Way Home movie. Nor we weren't talking about No Way Home movie. We're not talking about No Way We're Home spoilers. We're talking about the fact that because Spider-Man is trending, for whatever reason, Andrew Garfield has been trending all over Twitter saying that because of the resurgence of the new Spider-Man No Way Home movie and how great it was and how many people really... Like Spider-Man, for whatever reason, it did well. <laughs> for whatever reason. We don't know why it did well. Maybe because they brought back some old villains. Now, Sony is thinking about bringing back some old heroes. Possibly Andrew Garfield for Every another movie. Team must be defeated. But no, uh, please don't give spoilers to the No Way Home movie in the chat. Yeah, if you want spoilers, go watch our spoiler video. But why Spider-Man No Way Home... Did well, you guys will have to find out when you guys see it in theaters. Yep. But yeah, I would avoid Twitter and stuff because, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff about Andrew Garfield right now and uh, past Spider-Man actors and stars and Sony's oh. plans and all kinds of stuff. Oh, you like the first Venom movie, Irene? Very cool. Yep. And thanks again for the Super Chat, Game Boy 98 Thank you so much. Yep, thanks, Game Boy. All right, guys, how do I find the treasure chests? Is there a way to find them, or they just kind of randomly pop up? Because I would, I would like to get the treasure chests taken care of so that... Why would someone be care about spoilers be on YouTube? Um, because we told people, our audience on our channel, that we weren't going to give any spoilers, so... Yeah. So this is a safe place or not. If there are any spoilers... Well, technically, oh. the post-credits uh, scene is all over YouTube, and, you know, yeah. I mean, it's kind of hard to avoid that. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, that's true. So, there are some things that are hard to avoid, but... And the post-credits scene doesn't have anything to do with Tom Holland Spider-Man, so... In, in general, I'm guessing most gaming channels and most movie review channels would delete any spoilers in their chats for any YouTuber, I would guess. Because most people don't want to be spoil it, spoiled, whether it's on this channel. Spoilers! This channel or another one. Yeah. I right. mean... So what is this one called? This objective is called... To Kill a Spider-Man! If Black Cat shows up, burn I'll burn. feel bad for Zendaya because... I don't know. I just have a horrible feeling they're just going to break up. Because... They meet in college. Uh, uh. That's where he meets Felicia. Always. It's comic book canon. To kill a Spider-Man. I mean, you could have... If you did have a Sony and Marvel universe, you could have two symbiote, different symbiotes, but... Like... Yeah. I mean, you. I mean, you guys are right. The symbiote could be in the Marvel universe. No, it's in the MCU. There's, there's uh, a, there's a little piece of it. But, but we don't know. Spider-Man is not in Hawaii, and he doesn't have the ability to travel to Hawaii or Mexico or wherever that post-credit scene takes place. So, um, somebody with money might Who be knows? vacationing there. That's why I said maybe Flash Thompson who apparently has a lot of money right now, maybe he could be there. I don't know. Da -da. I want treasure chests! Give me the treasure chests, yo! Oh, there it is. There's Iron Man and his beaming with prideness. I'm beaming with pride! Ooh, that's kind of cool. 
Whoa, yeah, take that taxi cab. We didn't spoil the movie. No, we didn't spoil the movie. Talk about the post credit scene. Mm -hmm. That has nothing to do with the movie. No, it's not a movie spoiler. Nope. It doesn't have to do with the movie. Do, 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 I have cool moves now. Oh yeah. Well, I'm sorry you would have left the stream for that, but there's no reason you would have left the stream. There's no spoiler for that. Dun, dun. Like, everyone has already seen the post credit scenes, like, all over the internet. Yep. So, I don't... I think that would be a really not good reason to leave the stream. It's not a good... I don't understand that at all. I mean, people can do whatever they want. But... Yep. Yeah, please calm down. <laughs> why, why, but why? Yeah, like, the other person said, like, if you're on the internet, you're gonna see spoilers. So, that's another point. In that way, I understand what the point they're making is that. But yeah, we do the best we can to keep the movie spoilers out. It's not a. It's a. Yeah. I don't even know. This is a weird, weird conversation. <laughs> is this stuff almost done cooking or no? I'll check it again. And kick. Another enemy defeated. I need another treasure chest. Give me one. Give me something to open! I hope she returns. They were cute together. Um, I don't know. Sorry. It's just... It has to do with actors' contracts and con... You know, even Tom Holland only has one more movie on his contract, so... They were really cute together, and I hope they don't break up as a real couple in real life. But I... It's just a weird coincidence that every Spider-Man character... Every Spider-Man actor that plays alongside a... I'm so... You know, I'm sorry if we said something that spoiled the post credit scene for some people. I apologize. There. I am sorry. Sorry if I got defensive. I apologize. Thank you. He always gets defensive. Defensive Ambi. Sorry. Where's the treasure chest? Give me something to open! It was... Open! Um... No! It was just... Um, some people in the chat were trying to tell, tell us that they would have left if they if they had not seen the movie. Ah, uh, okay. Whatever. Kick! Yeah, I mean, they were really cute together at Gaming K. I don't... I mean, there's no... I mean, basically... I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, just, just I can't actually talk about the movie because if nope. I start talking about this, I'm gonna accidentally spoil it on. Just, an just hope that they like um, increase Zendaya's contract for more Spider-Man movies. But she, yeah, she but was only signed on for three. If they introduce Black Cat and then they don't have her contract going anymore, then there's the nothing they can. What are they going to do? I mean, they don't have system. to be in the same movie to be a couple, though. Like, you know, yeah. in real life. Actors don't have different... Him. No, actors have different jobs. Yeah. And they've been they've been together now for two years. Like, they were a, a private couple, which I thought was actually kind of cute. They tried to keep their relationship a secret. And are very mad at the paparazzi for spoiling the fun. I mean... I mean, personally, I would have got tired of sneaking around after, like, a few years, though. It, it, it might be fun for a while, but, I mean, you're always watching over your shoulder and trying to stay one step ahead of the paparazzi. So that, that can't be as fun now that everybody knows that they've been dating for a few years. Whoop. At least the pressure's off in that way, I guess. I don't know. Is this another chest? No. I missed my Unibeam! Unibeam! I want to go up in... Nope. Ah, oh, I can't right, climb Garrett the walls. Garrett was just trying to give you a heads up, like, that ah. people would have left. So. Okay, what All else? Right, well, thanks for letting us know. But, I mean... Ambi. I guess to each his own. Yeah, don't be so defensive. Bad... I'm going to break this lab. Hi, Zelda. I appreciate you trying to warn us, Garrett. Thank you. Wow. There's no treasure chest here. 
Darn! Give me a stinking treasure chest. Yeah, I mean, I think everyone wants to talk about this movie, but... I can't really talk about a lot of things about it, because I'm going to accidentally spoil something. The terminal so I can get you inside the lab. Oof. Yeah. Uh, let's see, where is... Any treasure chest nearby? No. I think it's not too much of a spoiler to say I really did like... Uh, Tom and Zendaya in the No Way Home movie. So... I don't think that's like too much of a spoiler like so yeah I mean I hope that they'll continue but it feels like with spider-man he just goes through girlfriends like he goes through you know I don't know paper towels yeah it's but just like spider-man in the comics he has always has another girlfriend he's had three girlfriends uh, Gwen Mary Jane and Felicia Hardy so like, I mean just like maybe I mean, who knows? Maybe he would take a break from three serious girlfriends. MJ, and then go back to her later or something. Maybe they were on a break. <laughs> we were on, on a break. break. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they'd be on a break. Uh, how do I get through here? Oh, there's a window thing. Oh. Ah, ah! It's actually gonna be a lot harder than I think to get all the um all those boxes because now you have to find you have to do a scavenger hunt for all these boxes I, need access to I don't care about your multiple terminals terminals just show where the boxes are i want some boxes give me them boxes yo i don't care about you i have to wait till the turkey says 165 degrees okay so i need some boxes Give me boxes, yo. Once it says 165, then we're gonna have to... Alright, I have to... Oh, he's... This guy's dead. Boom. We're gonna have to put Sparky in the basement for me. Does it... Does this have to say Avengers? Yeah, there we go. Alright, we're gonna continue to look for some boxes. Boxes? Spidey is a la ladies' man, says Blackwing. Can you blame him? Uh... Uh... Don't get Amber started. Don't get me started, Blackwing. I mean, it's kind of hard to compete with Felicia Harding, though. Unless, well, we'll we'll see what they. Unless she looks terrible. Unless, unless they. Uh, I can't say it. Minimize, Here, tell, minimize her role compared to his. Unless they cowboy bebop her. Oh yeah. <laughs> d d uh, mm, minimize her voluptuousness. <laughs> Uh, Unless they hit her with the ugly stick. <laughs> no, they wouldn't do the ugly stick. They would use the deflatinator. Mm. That's the only. There's it's the only way to explain it. She's very um, gifted with certain attributes as a comic book character <clears throat> that made him wander over people like Mary Jane and some other people, some other ladies. Yep. She's supposed to be like one of the prettiest women in the uh, the Marvel universe, so um, <clears throat> which kind of made Peter stray a little bit. Which I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but maybe. Peter had so many girlfriends. Peter wasn't really. Peter he was that... when when Black Cat and him were kind of like introduced. If I remember correctly, in the 80s comics, Peter was married to MJ, and he didn't stray. Even though she was, like, really trying to get him to cheat, he didn't do it. Unless he and Mary Jane broke up. I don't remember. I know they got married in the 80s. It was a big deal. They got married in the 80s. And then not long after that, the stupid clone saga happened. Um, but, yeah. We'll say Black Cat really put on the charm because she was trying to uh, get Spider-Man to be her beau. So I mean, getting getting. I'm sorry, but never mind. I don't I don't want to get into it because it's kind of uh, guy talk. I'll just leave. No, I don't want to. No, I, I don't I don't want to uh... anyway because the internet is not like normal guy talk anymore, so it doesn't really work.
Oops, did we fail? I think we understand the picture that you're... We failed! No! That you're painting. I think it would take a quick... It would take a quick Google search for any of us to look up a picture of Alicia Harding. It wouldn't be hard. To... We'll say Black Cat is special. And that... Yeah. She's, she's a... Luke, there's no one who's gonna actually be able to look like her comic book character. There are women who are... Um, yeah, women that don't work in nice jobs that look like that. But it it. Wee. Someone from Baywatch. This is Felicia Hardy. Uh. Whoop. Not the Baywatch remake though, because that was oh. stupid. There's no more treasure chests. Ow! Come on, don't do that to me. I need. Wow, did I die? I might have died. I need access to multiple terminals. I need access to multiple chests. Aim will attempt to initiate a shutdown protocol if they gain access to the terminal. What? What are you looking at me for? I thought you checked out. Okay, I was just making sure. I know it's late. Waiting to check that. I do know that they've been trying to make Black Cat appear in the Spider-Man movie since Andrew Garfield, though. And she was supposed to appear in Spider-Man 4. Like, for Tobey Maguire. I... I think... I think you're gonna be disappointed. Okay, well, if really they... Fine. if they follow uh, Hollywood's current example of ironing board ladies, then, yeah, I guess. <clears throat> boom, boom. I'm just saying. I, I mean, know you know, that point. that style of uh, you know that I, when you heroin. Used to, when you used to talk about this, I used to feel so uncomfortable I would run out of the room. Now I'm just completely used to it. Yeah. Like, wow. It's fine. I mean, you know, there's a whole category in anime for that type of heroin, so I mean, as long as there's a category for um, <coughs> bigger girls. <laughs> I'm gonna go check the turkey. <laughs> uh, <sighs> oh my gosh. We. All right, all right, all right. I have to go do this stuff, dude. Run, 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 run. Uh. I'm inside Ames. I mean, you've never seen an anime. There are there are shows where they make uh, the guys super attractive to what they refer to as. Uh, ironing board ladies. And, uh, then they have their, the, that girl's best friend is someone who is gifted in certain areas. They drank a lot of milk. Um, but they have the main hero, or the main hero fall in love with the, uh, we'll say smaller girl. Nothing wrong with that. But there's markets for both, is what I'm saying. Hollywood tends to ignore one type of girl over just using another. Or one type over and over again now. It kind of, it went reversed because in action movies before they used to get, uh, mm, you know. And now it's like they go out of their way because they, they don't want to offend women by having someone who, you know, looks like them. I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> oh no, did I lose again or did I win this time? You know what they should do? They should just CGI. Something like that. CG. Just CGI it on. Mm. I mean, they CGI'd a mustache on Henry Cavill. They could easily CGI. You can thank Twitter for that. Oh, I know, Timothy. I How did mean... I fail again? Let's see, they can CGI. Wait, I want a Twizzler. Don't seal right, that up. There's only a few more left. 
Well, don't... No, you have your hand on one. Take your hand off the one you were going to eat. And I'll, I'm taking the other Twizzler. I'm hungry. Honestly. Mm. They should just... CGI that stuff. Ow! A little robot. Whoop. They feel like today there's people that are like, No, Henry Cavill has too many muscles. CGI his muscles off. Or on, whatever. Oh, so they had some more news for Keaton today. It gets better. Keaton is now the Batman that was around in Christopher Reeve's universe, according to Superman 78, which is the uh, upcoming Superman comic book starring Christopher Reeve's Superman. They have Michael Keaton take place in his universe, which would not make any sense because, um, you know, Christopher Reeve's Superman is a really nice guy. Keaton's Batman, not so much. They wouldn't, they would be beyond polar opposites. It wouldn't work. Uh, Blackwing says, I want a Twizzler too. Sorry, Blackwing. We only have a few we left, man. We might have one left, maybe. We can put it through the screen. CGI says Gaming K. I mean, yeah, you could just literally, like, don't they CGI, like, half the stuff now? You, you CGI'd the Hulk? Why can't you just CGI Black Cat? Make her more Black Catty, like. <laughs> No. Let's let's not let's not. I'm gonna write a letter. To no, them. no more, no more, if no I'm, more. Like, if, if they hire an actress and she looks like a beanpole, I'm gonna be like, why don't you just CGI her to make her look correct, like comic book? Oh my gosh, because they've already de-escalated the situation in comics. That's the only way to say it. <clears throat> she's she's changed, just like she changed in um, both. Never mind. The really good Spider-Man game, they, uh, they they changed Black Cat and uh, and Mary Jane, which we're not gonna talk about because reasons. Because uh, in all honesty, they are they are um, they're fearful of that type of woman. That's that's why. I'm just saying. They fear what they don't understand. <laughs> I love late night streams. They're so good. I don't even want to get in. I can't even go get into this. Oh my gosh. Late night streams are the best kind of streams because they have late night topics. <laughs> uh, one more to go. Oh, I thought I'm gonna go up here. There's another thingy. I knew it! I saw it. Out of my way, Hulk. I saw how to get the other chest. Open sesame! Dang it. I'm starting to question so many things about my life right now. Anyone's lost family friendly topic. Family friendly on Facebook. For reasons. For reasons I can't disclose. Hey! Why is it all yellow now? Do that thing. Up in the air. Honestly, though, if I was if I was an actress and they were like, "You don't look good enough to play this part. You're not skinny enough, or you're not curvy enough, or whatever," I'd be like, "Okay, just CGI me, make me look fabulous." Like. Yeah, I mean, if they can really de-age people, they can. Yeah, look. like exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like they can de-age. What in the world? People, but they can't see Gianna but I, I, I did four. What are you talking about, game? This is not possible. I did four of them. I counted. I counted. Why are you blinking? What are you mental? Did I do them in the wrong order? What does that even mean? One, two, three. Let's see, uh, is there an order to this? I don't know. There's four of them, though. Look at this. You come all the way around here. Yeah. There's four. 
So what did I do wrong? So many things you've done wrong with the stream, Luke. I don't know. Are you talking about in what you've been saying? Or what do you mean I didn't get them all, obviously? I hit them. Look. Blue means it's hit. That one's hit. Then I come over here. And I hit this one. See, that one's hit. And I run all the way over here. And I hit this one. That one's hit. That's three. I can count. And then I hit this one right here. It didn't count it before. I hit all four. I know how to count. So just for a devil's advocate, do they have a girl they're going to be... Do they already know who's going to be playing uh, Felicia Harding? Or no, if, if they if, if they announce who would play Felicia Harding, yet they would have, like, Twitter would go after the person and shame her for being not... Pretty. For being pretty. They would pretty shame her. Yeah. And they would be like, how dare you have tracks you know, of land? May I just say something about this? How dare you be curvy? I... And maybe I'm wrong about this, but... Like, I was always told, like, you know, Britney Spears is such a bad influence and in all this. But I was listening to some of her old interviews, and she was, like... Pretty shamed. Yeah, like, apparently, I was noticing a lot of the other girls that were competing against her at the time were wearing the exact same outfit as her. The exact same. They just didn't look as good as her in it. They were wearing the same 90s weird midriff clothes, and they were just straight shaming her, and they're like, well, I'm not out here dancing, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and then it's like, but you were dancing, blah, 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 with, you know. I don't know, what, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, about. like, basically they had some weird interviews where they showed different, you know, girl bands and stuff, basically... I still don't know what you're talking basically, about. Basically, they were inter they were had clips of interviews where, basically, girl bands were were saying how much they thought that Britney Spears wasn't like, like of course she's getting those records because she's out there. You ate the last Twister. No, I didn't. You anyone. had it right there. Oh, you have to dig into the bag. Sorry. But anyway, I just thought it was interesting that. They they put her down a lot, saying that she was, you know, dancing around with, like, a bare midriff outfit. Yet, I watched them in their videos. They also had a bare drip midriff outfit, so they were, like, shaming her. Where are you going with, with this? What I was saying is, like, I I noticed that, like, somebody, somebody interviewed her and then said, you know, like, are you a bad influence on girls? And then she mentioned something, like, she was like, well... She's like, well, if she's like, she's like, if I get embarrassed that, you know, I'm talented and pretty, she's like, wouldn't that make it? Never mind. It's a really long story. So I just, just like I noticed she said, like, she didn't want girls that are talented and happen to be pretty to feel bad about themselves. Why should they feel bad that they're pretty? And I thought, that's so interesting. Like, I think that a lot of people were actually really jealous of her. Like, I think that's why this whole... Like, I think that a lot of them... But I noticed that Destiny's Child, like, Beyonce, didn't say anything bad about her. She actually was like, good for her. Oh, okay. But I just thought that was interesting, like, that girls do do that. Like, they... You can wear the exact same outfit, but if one girl looks pretty in it and the other girl doesn't, they'll be like, oh... You know, you're wearing an outfit where you're showing this and this off, but in reality, they're wearing the exact same outfit. They just make it look better. They just... Save a nice body. They just look better in it because they actually look pretty, whereas the other girl doesn't. And then the girl who doesn't look pretty will literally shame them and be like, Oh, look at your, what you're flaunting, but it's like, you're not flaunt. you're wearing the same exact outfit. So it's just like, that's like a thing that happens, like... Yeah, I'm sure. In society, so I just, I just feel that that's kind of interesting. Okay, well that was weird. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just saying, like, I'm just trying to defend your point of view that I know. Thank you. you no, know, we that you shouldn't really shame. You know, if you happen to wake up and look like Black Cat. It's really not your fault if you look fabulous. It's really not her fault for looking like that. It's how she looks. 
Yep. You know, that's just what I'm saying. Like, so, you shouldn't really try to shame women for looking pretty. That's what I'm trying to say. Yep. I think that's very wrong to do that. Well, what I would like to see them do with Black Cat, besides, you know, casting a Kirby girl, is it would be nice for them to do the storyline where she gets the powers of Captain America, the uh, super soldier serum. Because before she just starts out as like kind of a cat burglar, and then she ended up getting the powers of Captain America. Because then you could use her more if she had like superhuman abilities. Also, she would be more of a uh, unique partner for Spider-Man. If she could hold her own in a fight and stuff like that, that'd be kind of neat. I really like how they did that in the animated series, how she was uh, given super soldier powers, experimented on, and then she used her powers for anti-hero-ness. She was still a cat burglar sometimes, but it was it was unique to see her become like a, a superhero. I don't know if that happened in the comics or not. I, I don't know, but I really like what they did in the uh, animated series, which was heavily based on Spider-Man comics of the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Maybe she had superpowers. I don't remember. I remember her always being just a regular cat burglar. She also had the ability to switch her power on and off like She-Hulk, which was cool. That way, you know, her identity wouldn't be exposed at school when she was at the same college as Peter and MJ and Harry and stuff like that. I think they went to Hudson University. I don't remember. I, I can't remember the name of the school they went. Either they went to NYU, Hudson University, or Empire State uh, University in um, the Spider-Man show. Boom. It would also be funny if uh, MCU Peter ends up working at the, the Daily Bugle uh, for the fourth movie. I think that'd be very interesting. Uh, because then we get to see more of J.K. Simmons. Turkey is at 157. What does that mean? It has to be at 165 so it's, to 170 to be done. So it's almost there. Yep, it's really close to being done. Happy almost Christmas Eve, Amber. Nice. Yep. Are you saying that to me? Or? Yeah, why wouldn't I be saying it to you? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that dude was just standing there and Spider-Man just sucker punched him. I love it. Oh, that's funny. I enjoyed that. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Spider run, spider run. Runs wherever a spider can run. I still need more chests. Oh, someone thought you were saying Kirby girls. Kirby? Like, as in fans of the character Kirby. No, Kirby girls is a way of describing voluptuous women. Who are fit and va va boom without, you know, breaking YouTube's terms of services for <clears throat> talking about huge tracts of land. No, that's still technically a, a way of describing it, but not by saying the actual terms. Ah. Yeah, it is almost Christmas Eve. It is Christmas Eve and... Oh my gosh, it's 1 a.m.? Wow! It is Christmas Eve! Happy Christmas Eve, everyone! <laughs> oh my gosh, it is. Well, that's neat. Whee! Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. You guys are, are cool. Um, we need to find more treasure chests. There are the Treasure chest. I told you guys these streams get weird, and part of the reason why these the streams get weird is because of all these objectives are so insane. Oh, like these these objectives are ridiculous. They should have just given Spider-Man like a an easily to follow um, campaign. Instead, they give him all of whatever this is. Like we're gonna have you do a series of uh, strange things for. Liz Allen, uh, and, uh, yeah, it'll last, like, many, many hours. Two super chats from Trayvon?
Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no worries, man. You gotta work. I'm here. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas Eve comes but once a year. Uh, now it's okay to officially sing Christmas songs if you want. Or Chris, Christmas hymns. No, that's not. That's no. That's that's. No, Amber, that is that is super copyright. No, no, no. Thank you. That that song will get you in serious trouble, because I think I'm trying to remember who owns the rights to it, but they are not nice to people. Whoopsies! I broke that. Uh. Where in the world? Give me a treasure chest, fools! I only have four! Man, I'm gonna have to get all the treasure chests off camera. Because this is lame. This is super lame. Boot. Uh, I, I really don't think they were thinking this through when they did this. And they were like, oh yeah, we're gonna give them, like, objectives and stuff. It's like, you give them lame objectives. Nobody would care about these objectives. They're not handled well at all. They just drag the game on and on and on and on. Amber was singing off-key before. Well, she's tired. So, if she wants to sing off-key, she can. She can't trust me to take care of the turkey, because one, I'll probably ruin it, and two, I'll burn the house down. Woot. Shazam! I mean, spider punch! Yay, spider punches. What spider is this an objective side do that Liz gives me a list to do? Cosmic threat. I don't even care what that is. Why make me jump through all these hoops in order to unlock iconic spider? This, this is tedious. These objectives, they drive me nuts. There seems no end to this. My sanity slowly leaving. Uh, spider slam. Uh, we. Ha 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 ha! Ah, that's funny. The agents are safe. Sending them pick up. No, I need more treasure chests. Ah, nuts. Our sanity is gone too. Well, that makes sense, Timothy. I mean, what were they thinking with all of these objectives? 18 objectives to unlock one costume? Why? What reason? Rendezvous location to extract the shield agents. Well done. I really want to know, like, why, why did they think that was a good thing? Eighteen! Eighteen steps that will take you hours to complete. That is dumb. Merry Christmas to you by Nat King Cole. Last Very nice. I don't know that one, but I know Unforgettable by Nat King Cole. Yeah, random quest. Two hours. No, 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 you can't. Thank you. 
Um, let's do another quest. Joseph West says, It's not Christmas without Luke losing his sanity. Yay. Sorry, your sister is being weird, Trayvon, and thanks for the super chats. You're breathtaking, Trayvon. Says, How are you guys doing? We're doing great, Trayvon. How are you? We're doing okay. By the way, I am weird. I do better when weird people give me spoilers of the movie than going seeing the movie. Mm. It actually makes the movie more enjoyable for me. Is that weird? Luke does the same thing, Trayvon. Luke goes and looks up all the spoilers and then he watches the movie. Or I have my press friend like, are... spoil the movies. He already knew everything that was going to happen before we went and saw Spider-Man No Way Home. Yep. His press friends told him about it. He went and looked hey, it up. Shield discovered AIM keeps a list of He basically looks up the plots for movies before. So People you and Luke are similar in that. Thank you, Trayvon. Thank you, Trayvon. Worse than that, they have the entire area uh, are we gonna play? orbital strike team. What? Meaning? As soon as my team got Elden close, Ring. torched the data center. Elden Ring is uh soon. Do it again. I don't it's know when it is. For my agents, but I need that list. So we'll send him the big oh, guns. Setting up the Christmas stream now. Blackwing wrote chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Drac frost Despite nipping at your nose. Fires, there are no. aim forces in the area. <laughs> of course there Spider are. Spider Carol's being told by Mary Jane. Forces. You care about your agents. Oh, uh, you're so not dressed up like Green Goblin. Uh, yeah, I agree. Oh, he says it's bad enough that Spider-Man DLC is glitched, but a lot of fire. Aim was thorough. But completing all this just for a costume is ridiculous. This is I lame. agree, OH. It's too much to do for one costume. I have to find treasure chests now. Yay! You're just doing this to say you did it. Luke doesn't even care about the costume. He's gonna show it off for three seconds and then delete the game from his file. Oh yeah, I'm gonna delete the game as soon as I I complete. But I mean, it would be nice to only have like four objectives to do next time. But I mean, I'm not I'm not doing this until after Christmas because we're gonna be doing Miles Morales. I don't want to play the Avengers game. If if I can avoid playing the Avengers game, like for a few days, because I'm probably gonna have to find the treasure chests like off camera. Because they're really hard to find and super annoying. Um, Warren says, Merry Christmas, Luke and Amber. I agree, Spider-Man should have had a story campaign fighting Green Goblin or Doc Ock with the Avengers. I mean, that would have been great. Yeah, mm, definitely. I mean, I, I don't have... If they wanted to do the objectives, that's fine. But they didn't need to put the objectives, like, in order to do the Liz Allen story, behind 18 steps. And some of the most annoying ridiculous steps that they've ever done that to me is stupid that's all you know i have no problem that they wanted you know it's how they executed how they went about it that was stupid is all i'm saying oh my gosh trayvon thank you for the super chat trayvon he says you were lucky that i'm not an ultimate because if I was, I would make you and Amber play that zombie game. No, Trayvon, no! What zombie game? Oh, look, we found one chest. No zombie game! What zombie game? <laughs> Yay, we found another chest. Mm. What is my favorite Christmas song? And your songs you like are... Mm. Well, everyone's saying their favorite Christmas song here. Amber likes hymns. I like hymns. I think one of my favorite Christmas songs is O Come O Come Emmanuel. I think that's a really good song. It sounds really good on the violin. And... Yep. Oh wow, I've been playing the other Spider-Man games so long that I've been hitting the square button to do tricks. And he doesn't do it. Oh my gosh, Luke. Yep. I should tell you something so freaky about... What? The names of the reindeer. Dasher, Donner, Blitzen. Uh, wait. Uh, yeah, it used to be Donner and Blitzen, didn't it? It's always been Donner and Blitzen. Do not jingle all the way. Jingle Dasher all the dancer. <laughs> Dasher Donner dancer, prancer, vixen, <laughs> comet, cupid, Donner, Blitzen. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I got it. I can do this no, all day. Having fun now. <laughs> apparently. 
don't want to talk about this. Stop but, changing Earth! But apparently... No! There is no Donner and Blitzen. No! Nope. They are! There's no. always been Donner and Blitzen. It's Dunder and Blixum. What?! <laughs> yeah, it is not! Yes, You're trolling! No, no, I'm not. no, no! I'm not. Look no! Look at Wikipedia. No! It says it's always been Dunder and Blixum. That, that makes no sense! But nobody remembers it that way. It's not true! I know, that's what I'm saying. It's really Can we freaky. stop going to stupid Earths? This is really getting annoying. I know. Carol of the Bells says Sammy. Oh yeah, feel free to put your favorite Christmas song in the chat. Um, thank you for the super chat, Trayvon, says Resident Evil. <gasps> no, oh no! no! Um, I like Jingle All the Way, says Michael. I watch Christmas with a Joker and Holiday Nights on Christmas Day. Awesome, Blackwing. Very cool. I love O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Awesome, Carrot. They used to laugh and call him names. <laughs> he used to. He sees you when you're sleeping. <laughs> Thank you for that, Chad. Thank you. Yeah, he doesn't say Dunder. He said Blitz and, and Donner. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. Yeah, that's the reindeers. Look. It is not! Look. No, Wikipedia, is, somebody is screwing around. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> it's always Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. Dunder and Blit... Who? who? Blitzen. That's Wait. like Santa got like too much like... Something in his eggnog and got inebriated. Dunder oh. and Blitzen. And there's all kinds of variants of it. It's not variants. It's Donner and Blitzen. Oh, see, this one is correct. But then here you go. Look at here's Dunder. That's not true. It's fake. I know. But here's this is correct, Donner. And that's just not but a then you go Mandala else. thing. That's it's not it's that's stupid. It's weird. It's not real. Oh wow, this is interesting. This is correct here. But then you actually go to another website and it has a completely different list of names. No, Amber, no. Alright, I saw a treasure chest. I need I want that treasure chest. Give it to me. Give it to me! Look at even here it says the names vary. Sometimes you will see it say Dunder and Blip Blixum. Other times it will say Donner and Blitzen. Yeah, that's because a dyslexic wrote that one. Mm -hmm. I am dyslexic, so I can make fun of dyslexics. Ha. That's uh, fair. It is fair. Yeah. I am it, therefore I can make fun of it. Uh, ooh, is that another treasure chest? Mm. Please be another treasure chest. Yes! Mm. Why does it Whoa. say their names and their personalities? Who knows their personalities? Who knows the reindeer's personalities? Stop being dumb, internet. Oh no, this is not a secret base one, is it? I hate these levels. Find the secret base! You know why the secret base levels are stupid? Because they're so long. You want to know something weird? No. Well, I just put the temp... Okay, you want to know something weird? I put the thermometer in the meat. Uh-huh. And it said 146 degrees. Okay. Then I took it out. And I put it in the exact same place. And it said 162. Okay. Okay. That shouldn't happen. So what does that even mean? It means the turkey's yeah, not going to be done for, for another hours? Ten minute. Okay. That should be fine. I'll go get it out. 
Right, we want to... <gasps> there it is, Luke. Look at it. It's been changed. Stop it. Look at this. A poem from 1823 has now been... I don't, I don't want to know. You're going to drive me crazy with this I stuff, know. you know? But it's really weird. I'm just saying. Oh, sorry. Jackpot. I'm Let's sorry. see what that vault is hiding. We located I'm a few sorry. more. I'm sorry. I'm the crazy one. Step 15! Talk to Liz! Woo! Oh my gosh. Well, we'll be doing that next time. In time too. The resistance could really use these extra supplies. New audio file is available. Can I leave now? Yeah, nobody... You can't even... You can't even rhyme Dunder and Blidden, like, in a song. I mean, this is just... Whoever is going through and rewriting history with time travel is obviously drunk now. Because they're idiots. Somebody, somebody got like the 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 DeLorean, and they uh they they had a pint before they uh went back and started changing the past. Can we can we seriously have somebody like Minority Report style just go and like literally take down these people that are changing history? Like, I mean, there's there's got to be like some type of like SPD group or somebody who can go back in time and prevent these psychos from. Screwing up our past. This is just super weird. Doesn't make any sense. It's still not cooked? That's crazy. Apparently the turkey is not cooked, you guys, still. And it's been uh, over four hours. Actually, I've had the stopwatch on. Let's see how many hours it's been. Uh, it's been almost six hours the turkey's been cooking now. I don't know. No, you don't appear insane. I mean, it's... But the fact that Jingle All the Way is still the same means it's not... It's... Stop it! No, it won't be changed tomorrow. It's gonna still be Donner and Blitzen. <laughs> you can't drag me down your crazy train. Wait, what? I don't want anyone to be on my crazy train. Yeah, I'd like to get off now and crash. go back. I'm crashing into the. Line. I want to go back inside the matrix. I don't want to know all the weird things that's happening anymore. It's too much. Mm. We. I don't want to know. Nah, I, no, I don't want to take these guys. I just want to finish this level. I completed my objective, oh, so... Oh, I wish I could say the Morpheus line. Look at all these people living out their lives. I forgot what he said, something like If you're gonna quote the line, know what the line all right, is. well, I don't know what the line is. I'm gonna have to watch the movie again. Yes. Thank yes, you for the super chat, Irene. You're breathtaking. Thank you so much. No, no. Sorry. I'm fine. Just, you annoy me. That's all. Leave it to me to find something dark about Santa's reindeer. Yep. What do I have to do? Defeat all the targets. Oh, I have to defeat the targets in order to leave. I guess that makes sense. Oh, I'm changing Spidey suits again because I can. I said Noir Spidey was going to be in this. Noir Spidey's been in this off and on, so... Why is that still saying... I think it glitched. It has that audio file still stuck up there. Cooking this turkey would be a simple and good idea, but it turns out to be a living nightmare. How long is the ham gonna take to cook? Tomorrow. Well, it's already pre. Did you know that all the hams that you get at the store are actually pre cooked? So, what does that mean? That means that you can't really. 
that means you can mess the turkey up. Oh yeah. Oh no. You can mess the turkey up if it's not cooked properly. Get real sick. Well, I mean, if you put it in the. Never mind. I don't want to talk about the storage. So. Oh, totally fine. Just put it in the storage. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat a lot of it. Okay. I'm gonna eat a lot of it, and then I'm gonna get rid of a lot of the stuff in the freezer. We're gonna be eating that ice cream cake that I shoved in the freezer. Once we get rid of that, we'll have lots of them. Then can we stop like sealing the uh, the fridge with um tape? I can put take the tape off right now. It's sealed fine without it. I think it's kind of funny that you went all ghetto style with the. I just didn't feel like rearranging the stuff in the freezer, so I just taped it shut. Oh yeah, guys, before I forget, make sure that you um, set a reminder for tomorrow's uh, Christmas Eve stream of uh, Miles Morales. Oh, we have a lot of super chats, but I keep missing. I don't want to read them because I think they might be saying some pretty interesting things. Keep heading for the data center. Nothing yet. Seems luck is on our side for once. Famous I'm on fire. Stop, drop, and roll. It's supposed to help fire out when you stop, drop, and roll. Oh, wow. Okay, Trayvon. Very cool. Thanks for the super chat, Irene. Thanks so much. You're breathtaking, Irene. Oops. Um, Trayvon says, I have five sisters, one brother, and one sister and I'm one brother that i've never met oh wow oh wow trayvon thank you trayvon thank you irene it's cool you have such a big family oops where am i going i have a cousin that i've really never met since i was like really little um she works as a fire eater the term is fire breather i thought she eats it no, it's called fire. The the carny term is fire breather. Yeah, I have There's basically a picture of me, but like place. five years older no, than me, and she looks exactly right like place, me. We've got to focus on the here and now. She's a five year older version clone of me, and she's my cousin. We look almost exactly the same, and she works at a carnival, and she like, I don't know if she puts swords down her throat. She breathes fire. She does all kinds of weird stuff. Is she single? I mean, honestly, it would be an upgrade. <laughs> well, I mean, you can't eat fire. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. She wears a really skimpy outfit in her performances. And yes, Luke, she's curvy. You know what? I'm just gonna step aside. <laughs> Luke's, gonna, Luke's gonna trade up for my older cousin. Uh... I can't trade you up. It doesn't work that way. It's not like you go to the store and you're like, well, I'm time to get the new model. Uh, you're not. Doesn't it, Luke? Doesn't it? No. You're not like. like you're not a computer. You don't toss your computer every. Well, actually, you do get rid of your computer, but I'm just saying. You know, it's a little bit different than that. Amber, it is time to check the turkeys. That's funny. Yep. Oh. Amber's up way past her bedtime because of the cooking thing with the turkey. So she has to deal with this crazy turkey. Oh, virtual hugs, Timothy. Oh. I only have one sister, but I haven't spoken to her in years. Well, I hope things... I mean, I have people I haven't spoken to in a long time either. Sometimes it's for the best, Timothy. Wow, this level is so long. You're a... You guys are all really awesome people, so... Oh. I'm... I'm... I'm with you guys. I stand by you. Whatever it is. Uh-oh. If we lose, does that mean we lost the objective? Like, if I lose this level, does that mean I lose? Lose? Or it doesn't matter. Well, that web shooter.
Uh oh. Why aren't. Oh, I guess we're gonna find out if I lost the objective now. Oh. Any word from AIM on if they know we're here? I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go back to the Quinjet, please. I don't want to do this mission. It's stupid. It seems luck is on our side for once. Oh, your relationship with your brother got better over time? That's awesome, Fernando. I've always loved Boba Fett. Awesome, Irene. Oh, wow. You're an only child, Nintendo Lover Girl? That's cool. Alright, I can't do this anymore today. I've I've officially come to the end. Yeah, I mean, I would talk about my relationship with certain family, but it would start making me cry, so... I definitely do understand. Like, it is very hard. And I will definitely keep you guys in my thoughts and prayers. Um, for anyone who hasn't had a... Been able to talk to some of their family or see them or talk to them for a while. Timothy or Trayvon and all of you guys. So... Stop doing that. Like this Christmas, I was kind of having a mental breakdown because I was a little nervous because I couldn't see visit my family or my in-laws, but I'm more calm now because I made turkey <laughs> and I feel better. Once I eat the turkey, I'll feel better. Okay. All right. So anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for uh, tonight's um, Avenger stream, the Liz Allen thing will resume after christmas taking a break from this avengers game because it's driving me nuts um there's only four steps left but they could be anything we don't know what they're gonna be i have no idea you have no idea what kind of steps they're gonna do it could be like the most annoying objective ever or it could be the easiest but uh after we talk to liz allen there are three steps left before we finally unlock the iconic outfit and finish Spider-Man's story. And what a journey it's been. Um, but that'll be happening after Christmas. Tomorrow is the Miles Morales stream. Uh, which will be back-to-back -back streams of Miles Morales. Uh, for Christmas Eve. And then I'll be doing something fun like, who knows, maybe something Mario related. Something with snow. Something fun. I don't really know. We'll figure it out. But um, thank you for watching, everybody. Migrate over to that stream if you could. Set a reminder, all that fun stuff. And uh, see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Happy Christmas Eve, everybody. And uh, see you tomorrow. God bless and happy gaming. Bye-byes. Oh, my gosh. That was so exhausting. People have no idea. This is the dumbest thing ever. I don't know why it's not cooking well.